What's up guys? It is Thursday afternoon, July 23rd, and I've got a pleasant surprise again. This time it's from a different manufacturer though. So HRE decided that they were gonna send me some flow form wheels, which is awesome because I'll show you why they're awesome. Open this thing up and you will see that I've got FF10 flow form series and they look absolutely phenomenal. They will indeed be replacing my stock GM Camaro SS uh, premium wheels. I'm super excited and uh, you guys will be the first on the list to see my results. So we are currently at Dave's Tires in Gardena on San Pedro Street. Literally, I'm finally getting these on. Um, HRE, it's been a big help. Uh, Yoko has been a big help. It's been an adventure, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna announce that the old tires the old wheels taken off. The old tires taken off the wheels. Yes, I will admit it, my wheels were plastic dipped, don't judge me. <laughs> What's gonna go on here are the 305 tires, as you can see. The Yokohama. Uh, Yokohama 305 35 R20s, 107 uh, low capacity. Sorry if I'm out of breath, I'm kind of tired and it's kind of hot. <laughs> Especially moving around uh, all these wheels and tires, it's been kind of uh, exhausting. I will get back with you guys in a minute. Peace. HRE FF10 Flowform Series wheels for the Camaro SS, and I couldn't be any happier, let me tell you. Not only do they look great, but they perform phenomenally. What's so special about the Flowform Series by HRE? Well, it's in the name. You know, Flowform technology is used to create these wheels, and the technology itself is a happy medium between cast wheels and forged wheels. I'll explain that in a minute, but first, let me get back to the particular Flowform series by HRE. HRE claims that the Flowform series starts at about 23 pounds. That's significant because on the Camaro, the wheel, the weight of the wheels clocks in at about 32.2 pounds per wheel. Granted, these are 20 inch wheels, 10 front, 11 back, um, 20 by 10 in front, 11 by uh, 10, 20 by 11 in the pack. They may not necessarily be 23 pounds exactly. No matter what you get, whether it's 19 inches, 20 inches, or 21 inches, guaranteed they're more than likely going to be lighter than the stock factory wheels that you get from Chevrolet. These wheels are actually also very strong, and that has a lot to do with the way Flowform technology is used in manufacturing. I said earlier that Flowform technology is a happy medium between casting and forging. The Flowform process involves is taking a large mandrel and taking a large piece of metal like a metal disc or a tube mounting on top of the mandrel constantly spinning it and adding two things constant pressure and stretching the stretching part of the process expands the metal to the point where it is strong enough to take shape and also be very light this is where the constant pressure comes in where it's actually horrifying the wheel and making it much, much stronger than cast wheels. There are other things involved with flow form technology that borrows methods and tactics from forging technology, which is why these wheels are so incredibly resilient to road hazards and strong impacts and other things that could possibly just shatter an otherwise regularly cast wheel. What does that mean? That means that your ride is going to be a little, um, you're gonna feel, your, your ride's gonna feel a little more nimble. You're gonna have a noticeable difference in handling. And on top of that, you're gonna look extra cool. But the Yokohama Advent Apex V601s that I have on the wheels themselves are really 
really good street tires. However, I can also see them being used on a road course as well. In the near future, I'm going to be looking into doing some road course stuff after I get a baseline dyno on the car and a tune. I don't necessarily need to have those things to do the road course stuff. However, I do plan on doing some actual engine modding besides the throttle body that I just put on. Let's go ahead and drive this thing. Oh, <laughs> oh,